video that just finished exporting. Since I did a morning routine not too long ago, I figured I might as well do an updated nighttime routine. I personally love watching night routines in particular because I love any kind of like cozy video. So feel free to do your nighttime routine alongside with me. Today has been a little bit of an anxious day. Um, to be fully transparent. <laughs> so I've kind of just been catching up on like small tasks and things that kind of get my mind off of everything that I'm anxious about. So I've been doing laundry and some cleaning and a lot of just like plant care because of course I have a small jungle in my possession now. I also just got a new one on Tuesday. She's so pretty. I need to go make my dinner. I think I'm gonna make a little burrito bowl. This is so freaking good. What I would do for any sponsorship with the GTs, I'm probably gonna watch Grey's Anatomy. I'm currently re-watching it. It's just so much better watching the early episodes. I have quickly come into the bathroom because I'm gonna wash my hair tonight and I want to put some rosemary oil in my hair so it has time to sit for a couple hours. So, I have actually been using this kind of DIY version that I made and I just got this 100% pure argan oil and I added a couple drops of rosemary essential oil. So I'm just going to drop three little dots, rub that in, and then I'm gonna go like an inch over and do the same thing. And then for the back of my head, I'm just going to go like this and just kind of push it through. Hair oil is in and I'm looking like an egg. While my hair oil is soaking in a little bit, I'm going to get out my bullet journal and just update my trackers and my lists and all of that stuff because that is the only thing that keeps me somewhat on track. And I also have some cookie dough bars in the freezer that I made and those are definitely calling my name. They don't look like much, but they're very good. It's basically just almond butter, almond flour, maple syrup, chocolate chips with more chocolate on top, and then you just freeze it. I just love a no-bake, low-effort recipe. kind of love doing little like housekeeping tasks like this because it's like an easy thing to do but I still feel super productive. I am going to do my little teeth routine. Fun fact, my wisdom teeth have just started coming in. Ever since I was probably like 13, I've been wearing my retainer every single night. So I'm hoping that that means I don't have to get them taken out. But truthfully, I'm scared of what I would say because most likely it's gonna be one of my parents that picks me up. I don't really have any deep dark secrets, but who knows what my brain would do to me. I'm just gonna wet my little makeup eraser. If you haven't tried using one of these, it is absolutely life-changing. I highly recommend you get one and try it out. 
you're saving so much waste from like skincare containers and like plastic bottles of micellar water. I haven't had to buy makeup remover in years. Oh, this is just the best feeling. So while I am out of the shower, I'm first just gonna do a quick cleanse and then I'm gonna use my benzoyl peroxide cleanser in the shower. So the hair oil has been in for a couple hours. So it is now time to get into the rest of my hair care routine. I'm so excited. I love doing hair care. I've been getting way more into it recently. exfoliation it basically goes retinol exfoliation recovery recovery and then you repeat the cycle and you can kind of switch it and tailor it to your skin's needs but for the most part I kind of stick to that because it works for me and I'm also gonna go in with a classic the ordinary niacinamide and zinc And for moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with yet another Ordinary product. As you can tell, I really like the Ordinary. I feel like their products are just really good quality and they're actually affordable because so many products that get popular are the ones that are just stupid expensive and I am absolutely guilty of sometimes buying those. It's nice that my like core skincare products are actually affordable. And actually, while we're talking skincare, this is what I use on retinol nights. It's the Ordinary 0.5 Retinol in Squalene. And when I am using a retinol, I use the La Roche-Posay Kikaplast or Cicaplast moisturizer. It's a little bit thicker and I feel like this just works really well with the retinol. I also just got this and I absolutely love it. This is the Ordinary Barrier Support Serum and let me show you the cool part. It is a really good product in general and it has been working well with my skin. Look at that. And of course, I've talked about this so much, alpha arbutin with hyaluronic acid, great for acne scars and hydration, super gentle on the skin, literally just perfect. I also want to moisturize my body because I did do a little bit of an exfoliation in the shower. So I'm going to treat myself. This is one of said expensive products that I was kind of referring to earlier. It's all de Janeiro moisturizer. This was $65, which is so painful and oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. If you're in the mood to treat yourself, it is a great product. A little bit on each leg and on my arms. What else? Oh, we gotta move on to hair care now. I'm going to use this leave-in conditioner from Sol de Janeiro. My hair can get really flat, so I have been using this Amika Plus Size Perfect Body Mousse. I usually focus it on my roots because that's where I want the most volume. And the recent addition, I'm going to be using the Color Wow Dream Coat. And you kind of want to go in with quite a bit of this. I tried it last time I washed my hair. And let me tell you, it is totally living up to what people say because my hair is so soft, so shiny. And I'm just brushing that through, helping the product distribute.
every single night I sleep with this um, satin cap on. This just helps prevent breakage. If I am doing heatless curls, then this just helps them stay in better. But I'm gonna spare myself from having footage of me with this on from going on the internet. So I'm gonna put this on later. <laughs> My hair has literally never felt softer. I just got my notification to log my Clue app and to do my daily Duolingo because I'm back attempting to learn French. If you have any tips for learning languages, please let me know because I am, I am absolutely helpless. <laughs> I need to quickly go on my phone and put my Clue tracking in for the day. I am still using this app. This isn't at all sponsored, but as someone with PMDD, this has been a lifesaver because I can see exactly where I'm at in my cycle. And especially after using it for a while, it's extremely accurate. Um, I feel like I was a little anxious, as I mentioned, a little sensitive. Me a logging rest day for like the past month. It's actually so funny because I used to always say like, I'm such a morning person. I love mornings. It's the best time of the day. Now I am completely a night owl. Like I've been staying up till midnight pretty much every night, sometimes a little bit later, which is crazy for me. But it's just so nice having time to read. I've also become an iPad kid and I started playing Animal Crossing and it's so cozy. You're just kind of going around and like completing little tasks. I'm assuming a lot of you have played Animal Crossing because I feel like it's one of the po most popular games. But anyway, I also have been reading Wildfire by Hannah Grace. After the 24 hour reading challenge, I really felt like I needed just like a palette cleanser. So that is my nighttime routine. I actually had so much fun filming this video, which is so funny because if you saw me throughout the day, I was very anxious and I was actually kind of nervous about filming this video because sometimes I just get really in my head, but this actually turned out to be so fun and it's so nice just like having a bunch of things done, feeling nice and fresh, nice and clean. Anyway, if you enjoyed watching today's video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe because it really helps me out. Here's my Instagram if you'd like to see even more content from me and until next time, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.